bodoh 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 oh untuk ni semua harus dikehendaki. Kita boleh dapat tahu, you? Nanti harus tahu dia komplit. Seja de YouTube, o mundo inteiro cabe em Lisboa. Mais informações em doclisboa.org. Captured, concise, but there is a lot of also room for the the space and silence that exists between the the people. And how did you work with the footage that Hannah had, and then the the tensions and relationships that? The images then created while we were editing together. Okay. So we started working while she was shooting. We worked remotely uh, at first. Um, somehow, as the footage came in, we started talking about Maria and how she sees Maria, how I see her, and somehow we decided we should. Due to her inner conflict and inner searches, which were very close to Anna too, they really connected from the get go. We kind of decided through this, like, our decisions she had to make in life and in decision moments, she's now, uh, she kind of, it's like a ghostly presence that kind of just lingers through life right now. And we decided we should go for this. Uh, and through like a minimalist approach, and the difference between and the conflict between like silence and some moments of loud, louder noise we could create a bit of conflict. But we tried to just bring it to the core, her story and the things she went through and just leave a lot of room for the audience. Somehow we felt this is more powerful. And there's this uh, quote uh, of the Bible by Matthäus. Matthias, um, how did it um, punctuate the film? Like how, how because it comes um, at a point where the relationship of Maria with um, religion is um, very is obvious, but then it complexifies it, and then it becomes this relationship between um, the celestial family, you know, this relationship with. Uh, the hierarchy or the positions of a mother, a father, a child, and then related to the family. And how do you, because there's this, um, she's capable of loving uh, a celestial uh, family, but then she has issues with the communi blood communication within her, her blood family. So these two dimensions, um, how were you developing while you were shooting, you were writing, Probably this is the issue of being a filmmaker or editor. You, you're in between what you know and what gets out. <laughs> so somehow, let's say she's not yet a nun. She wants to be, but she's not sure. She left her kids behind because she realized the love she feels for them is not the love a mother should feel. It's not as strong as a mother should feel. So she probably this created a big conflict in her. So she approached and found a place here in the Orthodox Christian community, Romanian community in Lisbon. And somehow she's torn between these two because she feels she has, she, she's not in either of them. She can be a mother, but she cannot be a man. And both of them kind of have the same core issue, which is her. And I, for us, we thought this. Uh, quote from the Bible kind of works because at the same time probably her search for something brought her to religion but also put her away from motherhood, son, husband and brought her to the holy family but she doesn't think she actually belongs. She has some problems with her. So just, uh, this is a community that is uh, living here in, uh, in Lisbon, in Lisbon. Um, and Anna is also moving in, so how was, um, you know, there's all, all these in-betweens, in-between the family and the religion, in-between two different countries, um, was that, did that, the, the, the community here, did it 
influence also how you were working on the film and what kind of relationship that you had with the people that were in it? Yeah, I would say totally. We, we met Maria like together. I was about to leave Lisbon and we were living in a castle and we were just walking down up the street and we just saw Maria, her they speak in Romanian, we started interacting with them and Anna just kind of connected from the get go. And somehow then she decided to just get be a part of the community, to like just stay with them to see what are they doing here. Because everyone seemed to be like in between. All of the people here were not like belonging here, but we wouldn't belong here with anything. And somehow through this, both of us talking about it, and then we said it wasn't actually a decision to make a film, just a kind of thing naturally, which was. I mean, for me, for the people, even if I was far away while the shooting was happening, everything seemed really close because I, I guess most of us have this inner conflict between certain hard decisions we have to make. So. Thank you, Cosmo. Um, vou também apanhar um bocado 